Hi folks, it's Mike here from Blastomus UK. Today I'm going to be talking about this, the Hobby King E4 LiPo Balance Battery Charger. This is a sort of very low cost, but well proven, safe LiPo charger from Hobby King. Um, for this one re uh, retails in about the £10 region. It does LiPo only, there are no other functionalities on this particular charger, but it's very good for someone who is solely focused on LiPo and doesn't want to investigate alternative chemistries. There is an alternative in the form of the uh, IMAX B6, which is a bit more expensive, and that could be found, details on that can be found in a different video. So in addition to the charger itself, you're gonna need your whatever LiPo pack you're planning on using. And as this charger points out, it is up to four cells or 4S. So for all your nerfing needs, you shouldn't need more than the E4. You will also need a five amp, 12 volt or 60 watt uh, power supply with a barrel plug on the end so that you can obviously charge your, uh, plug your charger into the main supply. So if we go ahead and open this one up. Now, inside you'll find the instruction manual in case you don't want to listen to my dulcet tones. Uh, you'll find a set of crocodile clips and in the retail version you will find these pair of banana plugs and a blank end. Now for this uh, purposes of this and for purposes of simplicity I've pre-soldered an XT60 connector on the front here. If you are purchasing a one from directly from Hobby King then you will need to purchase uh, an XT60 connector to then solder to or Deans or Trackass or whatever connector you're using and solder that in place yourself. Uh, the <coughs> HK E4 does not come with a pre-soldered battery connector. So here we have the uh, charger itself. It's got all the usual uh, safety warnings about uh, never use the charger unsupervised. And basically it's about, the idea is you keep, you treat your batteries with respect um, and don't you know over discharge them, overcharge them or anything like that. So we'll start by removing the outer tapes. And on the sides here you'll see 2S, 3S and 4S uh, cell compatibility. Uh, this will be where you plug your balance lead in and the banana plugs here obviously plug into your device here. So power jack on the back. So we begin by setting up your charger. So banana plugs into like so. And assume you've already connected this. And then what I tend to do is I tend to get the power jack, bring it online, make sure everything's fine. So this is the charger in its ready state. Um, it is now ready to be um, sort of told to charge. So the first thing you want to do before you plug it, uh, your battery in is work out how much charge you need uh, how, what sort of voltage ampage current you need to charge this battery at. Now, all batteries uh, should be charged at 1C unless they have express uh, instructions otherwise. To discover what, uh, where you need to turn this dial to, you want to take this number, the milliamp hour capacity uh, number, and divide it by 1000. Okay, so that just converts milliamp hours into amps or amp hours. And for every, and you will charge at 1C, so that means you want to charge at 1 amp. So for this, you want to turn the dial to one here. Okay. And the next stage to do is check your batteries in good nick before you uh, sort of commit to charging. You don't want any excess puffing. You don't want any uh, scorch marks or charring. I mean, this is an old pack. You can see it's been quite heavily used. This is my personal strife pack. And you can see that obviously it's been used, uh, but otherwise it's in good shape. There's no integrity problems. There's no exposed copper or anything like that. So if we plug this in, this is a 3S pack, so it goes in the middle plug, 4S, 2S, 3S. Okay, and then we take those, connect them together, and now you're ready to start charging. As you can see, the um, pack, the charger has detected that I have a 3S uh, battery applied to the terminals, which is really good. That shows that it's working. So check again before you press the big button that this is indeed one. Uh, you can charge it at lower than one if you want to. If you're feeling super safe, you can charge it at half or even 0.1. It would just change how long it takes to charge the pack. Uh, this one is currently in storage mode, so it'll take quite a while. 
uh, to return back to full voltage. So I'm going to press that. And that is now charging. Okay. And it will flash again when it's done. Now, the advantages to, to this charger, obviously, are that it is super cheap. It's about £10 in the UK. Uh, once you put a £6 uh, adapter on top, maybe a 30p uh, XT60 connector, you can get a charger for less than £15. And more important, well, for less than £16. And more importantly, it's a charger that won't burn your house down for less than £16, which is great. Uh, perfect for entry level modders, perfect for anybody who's on a bit of a budget, uh, perfect for somebody who wants to try fly oils but maybe not fully commit. The great thing about these 60 watt power supplies is that they will fit the bigger chargers so you don't need to upgrade. Uh, you don't need to upgrade your lead, you can just upgrade this. The major drawbacks are this doesn't have a storage function. So rather than uh, storaging these for three months, you need to charge your batteries probably once every month to six weeks uh, to full and they'll be stored full. So that covers everything with respect to the charger and its setup. Uh, Bloodsmith UK don't currently sell these ourselves. We um, recommend you go to Hobby King in the same way that we recommend you to go to Hobby King for their batteries. We don't have any plans to sell them in the future, but we will uh, do reviews of other chargers because it's quite important to have your charging infrastructure for your LiPos uh, set up properly. And Hobby King E4 gives you a really nice sort of entry level um, to that sort of area.